hello friends so we will see today the remaining part of the amphetamines today our topic is how to synthesize these amphetamines and their impurity profiling different methods are used worldwide and there is no any particular method is involved for the synthesis of these amphetamines in the laboratory in any particular method in any method the impurities produced are different but when we will study in detail these methods then some impurities are frequently occurring in that particular method okay so in our syllabus there are three methods are given the first one is leucard synthesis of amphetamines leucard synthesis of, um, of amphetamines this synthesis of amphetamine is suggested by the scientist leucard and what are the impurities produced during this synthesis during this production in the laboratory that we have to see okay so uh, very simple reaction is there so this is a bmk that is benzyl methyl ketone so this is a ketone moiety this system is known as benzyl this is methyl methyl part or methyl group is there this is benzyl group and co carbonyl group is there in between these two alkyl and aryl group so the name is benzyl benzyl b e n z y l it's not benzene benzyl methyl ketone bmk okay benzyl methyl ketone is there and it reacts with what is this formamide hco ns2 so the reaction between benzyl methyl ketone and formamide in presence of oxidizing agent hydrogen peroxide h2o2 okay so it will give this intermediate this cho moiety will oxidize into carboxylic moiety carboxylic acid moiety and then in methanolic hcl in methanolic hcl in methanolic hcl this moiety will be converted to our target molecule that is amphetamine okay so the uh, decarboxylation may take place here and here minus co2 molecule co2 molecule may escape may be uh, uh, knock out from this molecule and this hydrogen goes to this nitrogen and our target molecule amphetamine is produced okay so this is a very simple reaction between two molecules that is benzyl methyl ketone and uh, formamide <coughs> the most important here from the analysis point of view here we are not uh, stressing our focus on the synthesis but our most important part here is the impurity profiling impurity profiling any in any method in any synthetic method or in any production some particular impurities are produced and that impurity produced in that particular reaction we have to analyze we have to clarify that which type of impurity are producing in that particular reaction this is the important case for the analytical point of view okay so that's why impurity profiling is impurity profiling means profiling impurity means impurity and what is meant by profiling profiling means to collect a data of which type of impurities are present or producing in that particular chemical reaction it is known as impurity profiling in which class it is uh, uh, present or uh, what are the functional groups present or what are the sources of these impurities present in that um, all synthetic method okay so this is known as in short impurity profiling so what are the impurity profiling in this leucard synthesis okay so the first impurity is this one so it is a pyrimidine moiety this is a benzene ring simple and this is pyrimidine ring so the two nitrogen atoms are present at one three position to each other and this is also aromatic this is also aromatic and one methyl group is present to the fourth position of this pyrimidine ring so numbering is starting from this 1 2 3 4 so it is four methyl four methyl uh, five phenyl uh, pyrimidine this is the name of this molecule and this impurity is 
produced in this leucard synthesis then this one is this is pscs2 that is benzyl pyrimidine another type of impurity is producing in this case it is benzyl pyrimidine the next one is in this case it is n formyl amphetamine if it is ns2 here if ns2 is there we call it as amphetamine simple amphetamine but one hydrogen atom is replaced by the formyl group so it is called n formyl amphetamine n formyl amphetamine is the impurity okay so these three to four main impurities are producing or they are um, producing in the leucard synthesis of amphetamines okay so this is the first synthesis now second one is a reductive amination reductive amination so reductive amination means we are doing amination of that but we are doing amination reaction on that carbonyl compound and after that you have to do reduction okay so benzyl methyl ketone is again taken and it is get reacted with ammonia okay so ammonia reacts with ketone any ketone it gives imine so ch double bond c n c double bond n that is this is known as imine this is um this is c double bond n is called as imine or it is also called as chip base is formed by the reaction between bmk and ammonia so this imine is then reduced by using hydrogen gas at high temperature and high pressure it gives our target molecule that is amphetamine okay and again the synthesis is different than the leucard synthesis the title is reductive amination of benzyl methyl ketone this is bmk benzyl methyl ketone okay and as the procedure is different as the method is different so the impurities produced are also different here so in this case this impurity is uh, this type of impurity is uh, produced in that in this reductive amination then n acetyl the acetyl group is present on this nitrogen on this nitrogen of amphetamine so n acetyl amphetamine is produced as impurity in this case okay then uh, the <coughs> okay so these are the two most important impurities formed in the reductive amination reaction then the third one is a nitrostyrene synthesis the nitrostyrene synthesis of amphetamine this is the third reaction used worldwide for the uh, synthesis of amphetamines but this third method is not widely used because the first two methods are very easy and they are uh, going uh, they are giving best results okay so the nitrostyrene synthesis the starting compound is nitrostyrene hmm? nitrostyrene this structure the name of this structure is nitrostyrene actually styrene is this is styrene okay and the two hydrogen atoms attached to this carbon atom are are replaced by nitro and this uh, methyl group okay so this is known as nitrostyrene so nitrostyrene is then reduced reduction is done on this nitrostyrene and we are getting our target molecule that is amphetamines okay now what are the impurities again this is the third method method is different so that's why the different uh, impurities are found in this reaction so this is what we called uh, one one methyl one phenyl sorry one one methyl two phenyl acid aziridine one phenyl one methyl one, two phenyl aziridine this is a three membered ring containing nitrogen atom it is called aziridine aziridine this moiety is called as aziridine three membered ring okay and it is one methyl to phenyl aziridine ring is there and this aziridine is formed as a impurity then the third most widely encountered impurity in this nitrostyrene synthesis is the 
oxime oxime derivative of this benzyl methyl ketone okay so this is noh is the oxime oxime derivative is formed as an impurity in this nitrostyrene synthesis okay so these are the different impurities formed in the different synthetic methods used for the synthesis of amphetamines in all over the world note uh, it is noted that as per the requirement as per the available resources in the analytical methods or in the analytical laboratories the chemists are choosing themselves chemists are choosing themselves the method chosen chosen for the synthesis of amphetamines this synthesis is done only for the analysis point of view there is no any commercial uh, point of view for the or behind that synthesis or behind that production this synthesis synthesis is done uh, in the milligram or microgram level okay and that's why this is only for the purpose to compare to compare the data of street samples the samples that were obtaining for the uh, from the society or from the market for the analysis for the comparison point of view we are synthesizing these amphetamines that is controlled substances in the laboratory okay and our main point of view is that while doing this synthesis which are the different impurities formed here that we have to remember that we have to see and that's why impurity profiling is one of the important aspect in the uh, synthesis of amphetamines in the laboratory okay i think you got it so we will stop here and in ne in next lecture we will uh, wind up this amphetamines okay and the only uh, two topics two, two, two sub topics are remaining and uh, we will see in the next video or in the next lecture okay thank you very much have a nice day